Hey all, Russ here of here, TV, welcome. Guess where we're at? Take a guess. <laughs> you got it. My buddies here at Electric Bikes. We're here to pick up their brand new trike. We're gonna test drive it and uh, see what it's all about. They are now uh, for sale. Let's go see Alex. Here. All right. So this here is our XP trike, uh, one of our newer releases here at Electric, um, our first three-wheel model. So meeting a uh, new crowd of customers. All right, let's take it over here. Let's go. All right, so this is our new three-wheeler. Um, newest release as of February of this year. Uh, sold quite a few of these. We've uh, got a little bit of shipping delay on them, but working on getting them out to customers. That's our first kind of foray into the three-wheel model. We kept the folding design as we do with most of our bikes. You still got your throttle, pedal assist, all that kind of classic stuff that you'd find on the, our other line of e-bikes. This one here features our Elite headlight, which are our biggest and brightest option that comes based with the trike uh, to make sure you're nice and visible when you're out on the road during night rides. It's coming with a set of baskets, so you got one big one in the rear here, uh, mounts directly to the frame. You also have one that's able to be mounted to the front end. Uh, kind of like on our other 3.0s, 2.0s, or other bikes with the front end basket. This one here features our supportive seat. So this is an additional uh, little accessory that helps you stay kind of locked into the cockpit. Gives you a little bit of backrest for the longer rides and everything. Um, trike still folds up, so I'll kind of show you what that looks like. Part of Electric's deal, we want to make sure the bike's portable. Trike we realize is a little bigger, but we still want you to have that folding aspect. So similar to the other ones where you get the handlebar and body fold, and you just tuck that front tire into the rear. Bike sits like this, or you can lean it over onto the side, kind of get it to sit at an angle like this. But for the fun part, if we want to ride the thing and operate it, obviously you can't do that like this. So the unfolds just kind of like that, fold up, just kind of those opposite steps back to operation here. So uh, to get into some of the nitty gritty, I'm gonna teach Russ how to ride this thing and we're gonna send him off on his maiden voyage. <laughs> so. All right, Alex. <laughs> You're gonna see an old man cry, huh? Yeah, we're gonna, <laughs> hopefully we see a smile. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so um, up top here, you got your cockpit, pretty standard operation, uh, handlebar setup, pretty similar to our other ones. Our trike features hydraulic brakes. So you got your two levers up top, Right brake's gonna be for the rear. Left brake is for the front. One kind of nifty feature I wanna point out here, uh, trike obviously has three wheels, so it kind of balances itself. You don't have a kickstand, but you still have a way to lock the bike up. You've got these two tabs up top. You can insert and lock the brakes. So it's kind of your parking brake there, so the truck doesn't roll away on you when you're in uh, elevated ground or something like that. Undo those, you just give your brakes a tap. Levers disengage and you're back to rolling. For the fun part, uh, you see our classic display and button pad, it's similar on the 3.0s. To turn the unit on, hold down that power button and the screen comes on. You get your classic charge meter, classic speedometer, odometer to see how many miles you've racked up, pedal assist as you see on our bikes. Features the same five levels as our other ones. Um, the trike goes a little slower than our other bikes, not gonna hit 28 like the other ones. More built for stability and safety as opposed to speed. Um, but you got the same functions. Your zero function kind of being your neutral, no need to use the throttle, doesn't work at that point. Basically a human powered bike. Once you tap your plus, you go into that pedal assist level one. This is where you're gonna get that classic electric feel. You can either pull your throttle get the bike moving in that aspect, no pedaling needed. Or if you pedal at this point, you can get the bike to rotate, or the motor to rotate as well. First level takes you about four, four and a half miles an hour. So nice and slow. Creep up to the second level, go about five miles an hour. Um, you get a little bit more pep, a little bit more acceleration. So a lot of people will kick up when they're going up a little bit of an incline, when they just need a little bit more juice from the motor. Higher levels where we start having some fun, Three, four, and five, you start creeping ever so closely to our top speed. Um, level five will take you around like 13 and a half, 14 miles an hour. So you're really kind of moving on a trike at that point. Okay, and this thing has a brake light? This thing does. So if you want to go around to the back, might be a little hard to see out here in the sun, but 
oh these two here will light up on the side so you got either one on either side of your fender when you turn your headlights on that middle one will illuminate stays solid red just so you've got like an indicator light and then once you tap your brakes that one will also flash for extra safety nice nice adjustable seat adjustable seat this one has one of our suspension seat posts on there so you get a little bit more cushion from the seat but same quick release mechanism on most of our bikes undo the latch tighten or untighten the hand screw depending on how you need it just pull the seat up or push the seat down depending on your height um, i want to point out this back as well uh, not everyone has the same geometry on their back so we featured an adjustable slide um, just a little hand screw here you can use to undo the clamp move the seat up or down depending if you want it on the smaller your back or a little higher up just before you ride make sure that's nice and tight so it doesn't wiggle on you or slide down um, make sure you go through your kind of inspections before you ride you should always be checking stuff uh, making sure your brakes work making sure you're holding air chains not off the ring or anything like that um, kind of your pre-step or pre-step pre-checklist before you ride um, you have a feature uh, removable battery as well so this comes with our 14 amp hour battery which is one of our long range units completely removable with a little key on the side can lock it to the bike or lock it out of the bike you get a charge indicator up top so you just tap this button here and you can see the lights indicate how much charge you're working with um, this battery on slow speeds should get you around 55 60 miles uh, which is quite a bit of time on a trike and the battery just slides right on in like that you feature your charging port on the side too so you can charge directly onto the battery while it's on the trike or you can remove it charge separately if you're storing this in your garage or something like that that's kind of it for the trike operations relatively the same as the other ones uh, like i was saying just goes a little slower comes in this beautiful graphite color um ton of fun to ride perfect dude Let's see about getting you on the thing, Russ. We gotta set you up on your voyage. Yeah, Russ, so you got free rain. This dumps out to the neighborhood. If you wanna go through the neighborhood, feel free. Nice and smooth. Very smooth. So totally different than a two wheel. It you kind of gotta almost relearn. Your brain tells you to lean to one side. Yeah. Drakes, you just gotta stay planted on the thing. Yeah. yeah. I was trying to lean out there, yeah. but yeah, it's beautiful. <laughs> that is. That's pretty perfect, nifty. Perfect bike. And the cameraman was. Me. Alex. Yep. <laughs> Want to walk through your inside to yeah. show your... Yeah, yeah. Here, I'll put this I... inside just so it doesn't get messed with. Okay. Um, but yeah, we'll do a little tour and everything. And then uh, we'll film loading it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you want to start here? Yep. Okay. So this is our wonderful showroom. Uh, you're probably familiar with this area. Um, this is where we do all of our test rides, got all of our models on display. Here's our expedition. Um, so this is kind of electric stake on a cargo bike. Um, supports a ton of weight. We've got it hooked up here on the display to show off potential kid carrier uh, with our two yep seats on the back. I've also seen people just use this orbiter as kind of a makeshift basket, pile all their camping gear on here before they go out to their uh, camp spot, maybe throw a tent back there or something. This one's really weighted for the weight. Right here, you can see one that's kind of bare. So it features our extended rack completely welded on. Um, this one, however, rigid body, You've got your handlebars that fold down, but to carry all that extra weight, we wanted to make sure there's no compromise point. Cool. Oh yeah, this is Lexi. Hi. Uh, one of our Lexi. wonderful showroom associates. So <laughs> if you come in for a test ride, you might see her wonderful face. You can come talk to me. <laughs> got our little lounge over here as well. Uh, Christian and Curtis hanging out. Back into here is our office space. This is Andrew too, another one of our wonderful associates. 
As you can see, we got tons of bikes here for open box. Back here is our office space. So you got the bullpen and everything. And this is where all the wonderful people at Electric work and do all the, all the good work around here. Cool. Bikes lined up. Back here is our service department. Yeah. Uh, so this is where we fix up, tune up all wonderful e-bikes for our local customers and people that travel in to see us. Um, wonderful bike techs here, working hard every day, replacing tubes, replacing tires, fixing anything you might need. Cool. Well, Alex, thank you, sir. You're more than welcome, Russ. Pleasure to have you, as always. Where are you located here? Uh, we're at 2311 West Utopia Road in lovely Phoenix, Arizona. Um, our showroom's open Tuesday through Saturday, um, 11 to 5, and then 9 to 5 on Saturday. Come see us. Website, phone number? Website, electricebikes.com. Our customer service number. The customer service number is going to be 602-715-0907. Um, wonderful little infographic right here. Guys, lift up on this silver pin here. Kick out and away on your latch. That kind of disengages your handlebars. Flip them on down to the side. As a tip, I'd recommend you always put the left pedal kind of below the body in front of this triangle down here. Uh, if you want to come over the top here. If you've got a latch down here, you're going to want to push forward on this little pin that slides, hold it forward, pull back and away from the body. And you're just going to take your front tire, kind of angle it so it glides right in between those two rear ones. And you've got a folded up trike. We can just kind of let it lay like this. And then uh, Curtis and I here will load it up for you, Russ. Thank you. Russ, you mind if I get in here? No. Okay. For a dollar. <laughs> Electric is one of the best bike companies out there. Uh, they have service, local, right out of Phoenix, a free shipping, you can't beat them. Their customer service is beyond belief. All right, check them out. Links are down in the description. Take care, talk soon. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.